Hi, my name is Bruno Sade from brunosade.com. And today I want to talk about the Hollywood movie script analogy in EFT. This is an analogy that the same as with the tabletop and table legs analogy helps us distinguish from a global or abstract issue that we might have to the components, to the parts that make it up that can guide our tapping so that we are not tapping on something that is too much for EFT to chew in just one round or in just a couple of rounds. So as we know, if we tap on something that is too general, too global, or too abstract, such as, for example, even though I struggle with procrastination, even though I have anger issues, even though I have low self-esteem, even though I believe that I'm not good enough, chances are this usually isn't very effective with EFT because it's like we are trying to cover too much with any one round of tapping. So usually it's very useful to come up with specific events where the issue is showing up in someone's life or that have contributed to the issue showing up in someone's life. So the Hollywood movie scene analogy is if you were to imagine that you're writing a movie script, you take it to a Hollywood producer or director or whatever, and you tell them, yes, so the theme of my movie is someone who struggles with low self-esteem. And so the other person is probably going to tell you, okay, that's the theme, but what are some of the scenes of the movie? And so some of the scenes of the movie that you could actually watch in a TV screen might be, for example, the person, the main character, trying to invite someone out on a date, but they are so nervous that they begin to stutter or they can't even ask the question. And the other person maybe just walks away. And so that's one movie scene, that's one specific event that can be tapped on for the issue of low self-esteem. Then another movie scene could be perhaps one of the events that led to that low self-esteem could be the person being yelled at by their, by any one of their parents after they made a mistake, such as accidentally dropping a glass of milk to the floor. And so that's another movie scene. Another movie scene could be the main character having some sort of nightmare where they aren't able to meet a deadline for work. And so their boss yells at them in front of the entire office. And so there you have another movie scene. Or another movie scene could even be a scene where the main character isn't in the scene, such as people speaking about them behind their back. And this would be in EFT a made up event, something that we imagine could happen or has happened. We don't know for sure whether it will actually ever happen, but thinking about it brings up an emotional charge for us. Therefore, it's something that can be tapped on. So again, I think that sometimes people, when it comes to searching for specific events, they are a bit too concerned with well, but when did this actually happen? Was this like in the year 2005? Was I 10 years old or was I 12 years old or was I 13 years old? And that's not too important. I think that as long as you, you can see it as a movie scene or as long as you could potentially write it in a script as a movie scene where there is one or more characters saying or doing something in a particular location, that's it. You are good to go in terms of starting to tap on that. So it doesn't matter all that much whether this is a future event, this is a past event. I think that as long as it's some sort of scene with a certain, even if not specified time and location that brings up an emotional charge when thinking about it, that's all you need to start tapping on a specific event or table leg or movie scene that kind of has the energy of the issue of the theme of the movie. So that's it for today. I hope this was useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you again in one of my next videos.